Today I will review how to complete a Canadian vehicle inspection on the Omnitrax IVG mobile unit. When the driver arrives at the truck, they must log in to, in order to access the application. Tap the driver login button and then proceed to enter your driver ID and password as provided by your company administrator. Hide the virtual keyboard and tap OK. Once you're successfully logged in, tap the workflow button. Please note the vehicle inspection button will not be used for Canadian carriers. From the workflow main menu, tap the DVIR tab. This is the vehicle inspection main menu. To complete a new inspection, the driver should tap on the driver vehicle inspection form, then tap select. The driver should tap yes or no to indicate which equipment they completed the inspection on, tap yes or no to indicate if defects were found, then tap on each box and enter the trailer ID, license plate, and jurisdiction of the license plate. If the driver has additional equipment, such as a B-Train or LCV combination, they can enter the additional trailer information in Trailer 2 and Trailer 3 or Converter. In this example, the driver does not have additional equipment or defects, so they can continue to scroll down to complete their inspection. The driver will need to use the drop down to select the type of inspection completed pre trip, en route, or post trip inspection. Tap yes or no to identify if the vehicle is safe to operate. The driver can also indicate if they completed additional inspections such as CTPAT or food safety inspections. The driver will then tap I agree to electronically sign the declaration stating they completed the vehicle inspection in accordance with the regulations. Tap done to save and complete the inspection. If the driver needs to complete an inspection with a defect, they would follow the same process. This time the driver would indicate all equipment inspected and tap yes for defects found. Enter the trailer information if inspected and then proceed to scroll down. The driver will need to refer to the printed Schedule 1 provided by Omnitrax in order to identify the defect code needed to be entered. In this example, the driver identified a flat tire during the inspection. The driver must enter the appropriate code, a comment regarding the defect, and identify the vehicle type that has the defect. Comments for the defects are mandatory and should be used to assist the company to locate required repair on the vehicle. Once the defect information has been entered, scroll down to complete the remainder of the inspection. Once the driver taps done, if the administrator has set up email notifications for defects, an email notification will automatically be sent to the specified recipient. If the driver identifies a major defect on their inspection and indicates the vehicle is safe to operate, when the driver taps done, they will receive a notification that the vehicle is not safe to operate. Once the driver taps OK, the system will allow the driver to indicate the vehicle is not safe to operate and tap Done to save the inspection. The system will store the last two tractor inspections and the last two trailer inspections for viewing purposes on the IVG. From the main menu, the driver can tap on the inspection they would like to view and press Select. Please note that it takes three to five minutes for the IVG to transmit the completed inspection to the server and for the server to return the completed inspection to the IVG. Once the system has completed transmitting, the driver will be able to view or display the completed inspection on the unit. Once the driver is done viewing the inspection, they can tap the cancel or back button to go back to the DVIR main menu. In the event of a system malfunction, the driver should have a paper inspection book in the vehicle in order to recreate their current inspection. If the driver needs to identify repairs, they will do so on the completed inspection. Once the driver scrolls past the completed inspection, they can identify the vendor, mechanic, and work order number for the repair. Once the repair information is entered, tap Done to save. In the event